Yo! What's going on, y'all? Welcome to Leap Reviews. I'm Charlene. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Now, I know y'all been on YouTube and been seeing a lot of YouTubers doing videos about this Breakfast Club interview that they did with up and coming transgender comedian Miss Flame Monroe. Now, last week, Miss Flame Monroe, who is a transgender community, um, basic, basically brought out by Miss Tiffany Haddish. Um, she is on Miss Tiffany Haddish's new Netflix special and she is um you know basically doing comedy and she got discovered by tiffany haddish and um tiffany haddish brought her aboard so obviously when any new project comes out music netflix specials comedy specials usually people start doing press okay so miss flame monroe um is doing press she's a transgender comedian and when she did her interview on the breakfast club Needless to say, she 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 kind of set some shit off on the internet. Okay, so if you haven't seen the Breakfast Club interview, basically um, Charlemagne had asked Miss Flame Monroe about um, Malik Yoba, who was on the Breakfast Club a few months ago, because when Malik Yoba came out and saying that he was trans attracted, the Breakfast Club had Malik Yoba on their show, and they also had, I believe, two transgender women and a gay man on their um, show. So it was Malik Yoba, two transgender women, and a gay man, okay? So while they were on the Breakfast Club, um, y'all can go watch it because it's, it's a, it's a long interview and it was kind of like all over the place. But one of the things that I feel like stuck out to a lot of people and myself personally, um, was when one of the young ladies on the show, um, I don't remember her name, but I do believe she was the black one with the dreads. Um, she was talking about transgenders and she was talking about, you know, the transition process and trying to enlighten, you know, the listeners and enlighten the Breakfast Club hosts about, you know, the transgender community and basically how they view themselves. And one thing that kind of was like, mm, I didn't really know, um, was when she said that the doctors assign you a gender when you're, um, when you're born and that nobody has a gender, um, you know, it's just assigned to you at, at birth. Um, that was kind of, I don't know, but the interview all in all was a good, was a good interview, you know, for the transgender women and the gay man to kind of talk about LGBTQ topics and things like that. And a lot of people were kind of side eyeing the, you know, the interview because they were like, you know, I don't know. Some of the things didn't really make sense. Some people thought it made sense. Some people didn't think it made sense. But this is what Miss Flame Monroe had to say when Charlamagne asked her about it. I love Ida Rodriguez. That's my partner. I had her on the Brilliant Idiots podcast, and she started talking about you. And I was like, I wonder what Flame thinks about Malik Yoba's situation. I don't think much of it. I can't keep up with the dicks I suck. I ain't gonna keep up with his. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all. Uh, let me say about that. So I what watched, did you think when it was up here? I thought that interview was the most confusing shit that I've ever seen in my whole life. And I'm that? part of the LGBT, ABCDFG, PTSD community. <laughs> I am, because we want all the goddamn alphabet. But oh, it, you, the crazy. world is not going to see us until we see us. And that's just real talk. Malik, all that he was talking, he loves a woman, a beautiful woman with a penis. I'm a whole ass man up under this wig. Ain't no women with penises. They're just as that that was, and I was shocked at you. Let me just say, let me mm -hmm. put you on blast, cause mm -hmm. you go hard on everybody. You should have towed into that nigga's ass. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> you know what? Obviously, you didn't do. Oh, you <laughs> are Angela. You didn't want to tear into his ass. Well, I don't mean in that aspect. You know what I'm, I mean? I'm, I'm, but I'm a, I'm a, the I'm questions a, that he was coming at it sounded so far fetched, and all y'all were sitting here looking like a dog when you talk to him. I well, felt the same well, way you felt. I was confused as shit. Even when he asked me, he said. Are you are you straight? And I'm like, yeah, but I know you about to tell me I'm not. You about to tell me some other shit. Ain't no. Let me t let me my trans sisters. I love you, trans sisters. Before I say this, all that shit about I'm trans attracted. Th there are beautiful women born in the world. This sister here, beautiful women mm -hmm. already made. So all that I'm a trans attracted. I'm attracted to a beautiful woman, not the sexual organ, nigga. The lies you tell. The men who are attracted to trans women feel like the bigger you are, the bigger you are. 
Break they're not down. attracted to us because we beautiful mm-hmm. women with breasts. In their mentality, they feel like I'm not with a man because you got all the feminine parts, but you still got that tool that I need. That's just real of it. Mm. And I know some of my sisters going to be upset with me, but bitch, y'all ain't going to do well, shit. Well, see, that's why you... <laughs> But that's why you got to have that conversation with them. All I'm there in situations like that is to listen. Just let them talk. Let them, let, let them, let them talk. Because I, I, to be honest with you, I can't tell them they're wrong. I can only tell them that's not what I learned growing the fuck up. Well, you know, I've been getting heat to say I'm not a full trans woman. And flame, I don't know how you identify, but I feel like a, I'm a whole woman. I'm a real woman. I didn't learn how to be a girl from watching a, a boy. I learned how to be a girl from watching a woman. My mother, my aunties, my grandmother. That's real. That's how we learned how to be girls. So first of all, let's give the respect back to the women. We are female impersonators. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to be a woman. Even if I get a, a, a SRS, I still wouldn't be a woman. It's not going to bleed. I still have to have electrolysis in it before I even get it. I'm not going to have any children. And you still got to lube it up. It kind of defeats the purpose because as a connoisseur of the very beautiful for JJ, but JJ, when she wants you, you know she wants you. It's running down her legs like lotion. Well, see, Flame, that's why, it's, it, to be honest with you, that's why more people need to give a platform to you. I don't want no platform. I don't want to be no, the spokesperson. But, but, no, but I don't want you to be the spokesperson, but God damn it, can somebody talk some reality sometime? Listen, like, that's the, that's how, that's the reality of the situation. But do you know how much bashing I get and, and going to get behind this in my inboxes? So wow, imagine how much wow. imagine yeah. how much we get. We're not a part of the community. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, Charlemagne, I got about twenty messages this morning. Test Charlemagne ass up. I say, Charlemagne is a cool dude. Y'all just got y'all. Oh, are I tight. thought you meant like wanted to fuck me. I was oh, almost no, 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 no. I was flattered for a second. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, Security, I'm in a ten minutes <laughs> thing over here who think he a guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? It's sounding quite 5150 if you ask me. I was like, 20 emails. I'm hiding them. Oh, the trans queens in the like streets. Tra- <laughs> I don't know why they asked you, Charlamagne, because people will not allow people to be. And I keep saying, the world is not going to see us. We keep asking for inclusion, inclusion, mm-hmm. inclusion, inclusion. And if you force feed anything on anyone, you make them hate it. The right. gay community, my community, my community, we are forcing, take us, see us, accept us, let us be with you. I don't, you don't need to get down with my lifestyle. Mm. That don't mean I can't be your neighbor. I can live That's next real. door to this nigga. I ain't got to go to his house for barbecue. He probably don't season his food right anyway. I ain't got to go to his house for barbecue, but I can't, we can coexist in the same right. neighborhood if I stop trying to put my lifestyle to make him accept what I am. I don't ask him what he doing. My business ain't his business. His business ain't my business. But that ain't what we want. You we know want. why we could coexist? Because you like to laugh and talk shit. And at the end of the day, that's all everybody wants to do. And if we can it. laugh and talk shit, we good. I don't give a fuck what you are or what you do. We overly sensitive as a people. The nation is becoming overly sensitive. Yeah. That's what's happening to comedy. Everything is so censored. You can't say this. You can't. Whew. Now, you just saw what Miss Flame and Rhoda said now. Now, she said she was going to set the internet ablaze, and goddamn bitch, your motherfucking dead, okay? Now, everybody's been making YouTube videos and, you know, kind of pretty much going off on Flame and was basically, you know, saying, you know, how can she do this? She's setting the transgender community back. You know, we are trying to, as LGBTQ, we are trying to get people to accept us and understand us, and you kind of set us back, you know, many, many steps. You know, and Miss Flame Monroe, she didn't double, she didn't back down. She actually doubled down on what she said when she went on live the other night and was basically saying, fuck all y'all. She don't care what y'all have to say. She's all about her coin. And she said what she said. We love the view. They've already reached out. It's coming like a train with no brakes. Yeah, y'all ain't mad yet. I ain't never signed up to be the advocate or the spokesperson for the transgender community. I do love my sisters and, and brothers and ride with you when you're right. But this is my story to tell. If you want to tell your story, then get on the national platform and tell your goddamn story. Hello, darling, but you got to get there first. I'm great. Can I get two double-doubles, please? Okay. I want uh, raw onions on one and grilled onions on the other. And then I want a cheeseburger. And... Um, a vanilla shake and a strawberry shake, small. Okay. That's it. All right. That was a vanilla and a strawberry shake? Yes. Okay. So a uh, regular cheeseburger, double-double the raw onions, a double-double grilled onions, and then the two shakes. Yes. And would you like this in an open box to eat in the car? No, I need it to go. I need to take okay. it home. Yes. All right. Your total is going to be eighteen fifty-two. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's out there. First one. Oh, okay. Great. Have Thank you night. so much. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, y'all. I was distracted. We ordering food. Uh, baby, you hear that, Kimmy? My story. 
My, I'm not gonna. I'm not here to please the masses, bitch. Kiss my dick in the face. That's what you do. Kiss my dick in the face. <laughs> Cause you bitches can't shake me. The train has left the station, and it's not gonna stop until I get to the top. You can go for the ride, enjoy the ride, or enjoy the view. Now you just seen all of that, you know, social media interview footage, okay? And you know, like here at Libra Reviews, we give both sides. We kind of analyze all of the situations, and that's what I'm gonna do in this situation, okay? Basically, what Flame Monroe was saying was, you know, Charlemagne, you didn't really go as hard on those transgender ladies as you usually do on other uh, interviews, which I agree with. But she was basically saying, you know, um, I know I'm going to get in trouble with my transgender sisters, but, you know, nobody can be changed into a woman. That's basically what she was saying. You're born the way that you're born and although you may do the transitioning and although you may go through the surgical hormonal changes that doesn't change the fact that when you were born you were born um as a particular gender gender what i noticed is that you know a lot of people were up in arms and they were kind of like uh, why would you say that but flame never referenced them as rep she never referenced transgender uh women as men she never did that every time that she said what she was saying and she referenced them she said trans women trans people so you know she wasn't disrespecting trans women because if she was she would have said you know you're a man you know or you're a wannabe woman or whatever you know she was basically saying you know even if a, even if a transgender woman goes through all of the changes you know it, it's still not going to be right you you know you, what you feel on the inside does not change what you just were born as. You know what I mean? And, you know, I was kind of happy that she got in Charlemagne's ass because, you know, you do ask questions and you do kind of go back and forth with people when they come on your show and they say things that are confusing or say things that you didn't know or say things that you didn't understand. You know, you didn't really press them about it, which I understand on one hand why they didn't is because, you know, anytime you say anything about race, uh, homosexuality, things like that, you know, you can get shut down so quick. So I think when Charlemagne had Malik and those two transgender ladies and the um, gay man, I, I, and please forgive me because I really don't know their names. I'm not trying to, you know, whatever. I just, I, oh, I know Carmen. Carmen was one of the, the transgender ladies up there talking with Malik because she was on uh, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. And I actually met her. She was, she came to Baltimore once and she was at um, a club called The Hippo. And it's not open no more. They closed it down. But um, that was like back in like 2012, 2011. I'm not sure. But yeah, I met her. She's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. So I'm not trying to be like, oh, the transgender women. And the, like, I'm not trying to be whatever. I really just don't know their names except for Carmen. And I do, you know, Malik. Um, but anyway, you know, I think the reason why they don't really come at them because they know they will get shut down. So on one hand, Charlemagne and Envy and Angela were kind of like, oh, we just want to let them say what they wanted to say. But if Charlemagne was going to stay, stay true to who he was, he should have done what he's done to plenty of people that have come on his shows, whether they rappers, men, women, black and white, he goes in on motherfuckers and he don't care. And he asks us questions and he doesn't care if it comes off as brutal. So I understand what she was saying. And I, and I appreciated the fact that she got his ass about that a little bit. Okay. Now, again, I understand, you know, the, the, the uproar, you know, um, about what, what flame said, because, you know, and and home and the LGBTQ community to them it is like a setback, and I understand what they're saying. And even though I personally agreed with some of the things that she said um, during that piece of the of the interview, I do understand what LGBTQ members are saying when they don't like what she's saying, and and you know she's basically giving bait to straight people and to people that aren't in their lifestyle to kind of be like, well, Flame said this, so yeah, you guys are men. You know, you guys aren't really real. You guys aren't really this, you know, whatever, whatever. And so I understand that because it's kind of like even like within the black community, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's so many facets of, of black people. I mean, you have dark skin, you have light skin, you have black people with very long hair, you have black people with short hair, you have black people that are extremely educated and smart. You have some black people that aren't. There's so many 
aspects in so many different sectors of African American people. So it's irritating when somebody, you know, that people would say maybe a Kanye West or a Stacey Dash or somebody that comes out and kind of speaks because it's like even if they might have small talking points for the black community as a whole, you know, sometimes they're looked at like, you know, hey, you know, why would you say that? You know, you could have said it in a different way. You could have, you know, had a different whatever, because all you're doing is giving those racist royal you will bleep 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 i can't you know i don't want to say what i want to say because last time i made the video everybody was commenting like oh you cuss too much so I ain't gonna... but you know what i'm saying you're giving ammo to those racist people out there to be like hey you heard what kanye said hey you heard what stacy dash said so it doesn't necessarily mean that what they're saying is wrong but you're giving ammo to you know these people that aren't going to like you just regardless. So I understand that point. I really do. You know, because Flame, you know, she came out and she was saying a lot of things. She was basically saying, if you have a dick, you're a man. If you have a vagina, you are a woman. Point blank, period. You can try to change. You can try to alter. You can try to be whatever. But naturally, that's just not what you are. Nobody's saying that the way that you feel is fake. Nobody's saying that the way that you feel and the inside isn't legitimate. But what she's saying is, is that when you are born with a particular organ, that makes you what you are. And that's kind of like, you know, um, how I've always felt about it. I, I never, I can never say, you know, to a transgender woman or a transgender man that, you know, the way that you feel and the things that you do to your body and to your hormones to change yourself to match the way that you feel, I'm, I could never say that that's wrong. I could never say, you know, you know, oh, you know, you feel, you feel, you feel like you were born in the wrong body. I believe that that can happen. I believe, trust me, trust me, I believe that you, that some people are born in the wrong body. Sometimes they may be born in the wrong generation because it's so much mixing and it was so much from way back in A in, 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 in B C and A D or A J, whatever, way back in them times. You know what I'm saying? It was so much that happened. I believe that you can be born in the wrong body. And I can believe that a transgender woman who transitioned to a a a, a, a from transitioned from a man to a woman i will never say that you are not valid i will never say that the way that you feel is not valid i will never say if you decide to take that step and you know and to get the breast and to get the surgery and to get the, the hormones and to and to dress like a woman and your whole aesthetic be woman i'm not saying that that's not what you, what you are what you have become i'm not saying that at all but what i am saying and what i do kind of agree with what you're saying is you know you know, a woman is a woman and a man is a man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it would be better if trans people would say, I was born a man, but on the inside and in every fiber within me feels as though I am a woman. So I am going to take those steps to make myself become what I feel on the inside. And I know that's a long explanation, but that makes a little bit more sense. Because going back to that Malik interview where the two transgender women, Carmen and the other young lady and the gay man was on, on the Breakfast Club, you saying that when you're born, you don't have a gender, that the doctor assigns you a gender. Like he just like picked like, oh, that's a boy. Like he, they assigned you a gender. You know, I don't I don't agree with that. I don't I don't I don't agree with that at all. You know. The same way that somebody, you know, was involuntarily born in the wrong body. So you're a woman and you feel like a man or you're a man and you feel like a woman. You know, anybody that's involuntarily born in the wrong body, that's an involuntary thing. When you were brought into the world, you were brought into the world and made that way. You can't change that. You were made that way. You were made to feel you were made as someone who looks like a man or looks like a woman on the outside, but you feel the complete opposite on the inside. And you were born that way. You can't help it. You don't know what it is. You were born this way. You can't change it. You can go through life trying to be a man. You can go through life trying to be a woman, but ultimately you feel like the opposite and you can't change it. You know what I mean? It's the same exact thing when 
cis, I'll use that, you know, when cis gendered uh, uh, people are born, you know, I was not, I, I didn't pick to come out and be born an African-American woman. I didn't choose that. I didn't choose to come on my menstrual cycle at the age of 12 years old. At the age of 12 years old, when I'm still outside riding my bike and doing things like that, I didn't choose that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't choose that at all. Now, at the same time, you know, I don't feel like I want to transition to anything else. So that's a, that's a, a side effect that I don't really have to deal with. But at the end of the day, I didn't choose to be a woman. I didn't, ch I didn't choose to go through that, grow boobs and they hurt every single month when I go. I didn't choose that. It is just what it is. You know, and same with the men's side. You know, whatever they have to deal with. You know, with standing up, peeing, I don't know what the hell they do. But whatever they go, they didn't choose that. That's just the way it is. So the same way that you were born feeling the way that you feel on the inside, although the outside doesn't match, you can't put down and be like, oh, well, men, women ain't women and men ain't really men. It's just an assignment to you. No, it's not. The same way that you were born the way that you were born is the same way that we were born the way, you know, or cisgender people were born the way that they were born. You cannot change that. Now, you say, I, you know feel like this in the inside and but my outside doesn't match yes but don't say oh i'm not really a, a man i'm not really a i'm not i wasn't born with a male organ organ that doesn't make any sense and and don't and i might and i might get my video i might get you know i don't know if it's gonna get a lot of views or not but y'all might come on me like oh you're being transphobic bitch i am the least tra Bitch, my motherfucker, and I know it, it's whatever because, you know, everybody says, you know, when people call out racist white people, they're like, oh, I have a black friend. And so I get that. But, I mean, realty. Like, <laughs> I've had transgender friends. I have my best favorite cousin that I love so dearly is a lesbian. I'm talking about stud, lesbian, you know what I'm saying? She ain't girly. She's a nigga. You know, dreads. You know what I'm saying? You know, she's a, in a, in this situation right now. But she's, a, you know, a lesbian. My, that's my motherfucking, that's my favorite cousin. Don't give a fuck if she suck puss, you know, scissor. I don't give a goddamn what she do. Neither does my, I didn't come from a family where it was like, oh, you're gay. You're the, you ain't nothing. Oh, you're transgender. Oh, you ain't nothing. I, I mean... Trust me, my best friend from 13 years old is a gay Russian man. My best friend that I've known for 10 years since I was 19, 18, 19 years old. We've been friends for 10 fucking years. Gay man from Virginia, gay black man, country southern. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I have more gab, you know, shit. Motherfuckers be thinking I'm gay because I hang with all the gay and transgender and the gay clubs. And, you know, and I always hung out in the gay clubs because my best friends being gay, they didn't really feel comfortable going to the straight clubs because every time we went to the straight clubs, they would get made fun of and they'd be like, oh, why are you with that gay? You know what I mean? So I spent the majority of my, of my 20s, the beginning of my 20s, up in the gay club love it i love those in the drag queens all that shit so i don't want to come off like i'm not understanding what you're saying but what i just want to 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 get over we're not going to negate science history biology we're not going to negate that you know <clears throat> from what i understand a, a, a man and a woman is based on the x and y chromosome you know what I mean? You know, the X and Y. And I don't know which one, but some one of them, I think, has like a double Y. And some, one of them has an X, Y. Like, it's different. It's scientific. Like, you're not going to tell me that that gender is, is assigned by a doctor and it doesn't really matter. Like, it, I mean, that like, it just it just is what it is. Like, gender does matter. That's why you feel like you were born with the wrong gender. Because if gender didn't matter and it was just assigned to you, whatever, then you wouldn't feel the need to change because it's just like oh well gender doesn't matter i feel I, I i look like a man but i feel like a woman so that's just gonna be that no it, it's, it's not like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know i don't know man i don't know i go back and forth with the situation but you know what i do know is that you know i like flame i think that she and you know if flame is flame is unique within herself because she is a transgender woman that has kids like so she likes stud looking lesbian women but she's had everything is 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 you know kind of subjective in that situation you know what i'm saying and it's not an up like being lgbtq is not 
subjective. It's, I mean, it's not objective. It's really subjective. Like a lot of different people, you know, there's some trans, transgender men who were women originally, but transitioned to men and then still end up with women. So you, like, or, and then you have some transgender women. I mean, you have some transgender men that were originally women that transitioned to men and then end up hooking up with men. Like, like it's, it's like, you don't, it, it's like you, it's, it's so subjective. It's so many different sectors. You know what I'm saying? And Flame and Rose side is Flame and Rose side, but that scientific, you know, being born and assigned or whatever. I mean, mama, you either are a man with a, with born in the wrong body or a woman born in the wrong body, but the bodies aren't, it's you're a man or a woman and the organ is, is, is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's that on that. I don't know if this video is going to be all over the place, you know, I don't know, you know, and, and, you know, I understand, like, I totally understand, you know, it's, it's the same with a lot of things, but, oh, well, I'll end with this. How about this? So do y'all know that 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 German, I believe, or European model who basically transitioned from a white woman to a black woman? It's kind of like her saying, it's kind of like her. It's kind of like her saying, skin color doesn't matter, race doesn't matter. Like, we're all born, even though she's trans, we're all born black. We're all born white. We're all born, like, it doesn't matter. Like, your your race is assigned to you at birth. You come out. Casper as hell, pale as hell, with blue eyes and a head full of blonde hair. Oh, the doctor assigned that baby as a Caucasian baby. That's pretty much that's pretty much like kind of like the same thing. Or you push a baby out, the baby is chocolatey, gorgeous, coily hair, brown eyes, big lips, look just like the parents. But that's not a black baby. That's a, the Baby, you they told you your baby was black? No, they assigned your baby that race. Mm -mm. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Now, if you feel like you were born, you feel like you was, you, you know, you're a black person and you feel like you was born as a white person, so you want to bleach your skin or, or vice versa, that's another thing. But all this, you know, that's just what I wanted to get off, you know? <laughs> off my chest so i understand all the signs and i understand all the sides i understand all that but um you know the facts are the facts the basis of the basis and i hope that people don't take what flame monroe said in the interview and use that to further disrespect transgender people because they are people they have a right to do say and act however they want but everybody else has a a right to do say and act the way that they want to as well and that's my video thank you for tuning in to leave reviews hit the subscribe button hit the like button before you leave and until next time deuces